guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing the tutorial on this look right here that I came out it's very bold very sparkly gold very smoky um, appropriate probably for the party or some special occasions um, look I really really wanted to do something like that for a very long time so I finally got it out of my system and if you're curious how I got this look done then keep on watching since I'm doing a super intense eye look, I'm gonna start with my eyes first. I already primed my eyelids with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And the first shadow that I'm applying is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And I'm building up this shade as my transition slightly above my crease. Next, I'm taking the shade Saddle by MAC and I'm applying it closer to my crease, blending it into a peach smoothie. And for this, I'm using the same fluffy brush, which is Morphe M433. Moving on to the next shadow, which is Coca Bear by Makeup Geek. And with this beautiful warm brown shade, I'm really building up my crease concentrating it mainly on the outer corners and then dragging it towards the inner parts of my eye. After that, I picked up NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Black Bean and I am creating a base for the next shadow that I'm going to put on my lids. But I am keeping it strictly on the lids, not taking it up to the crease. And then I'm just blending it upwards with the Morphe E17 brush. Next I'm taking a Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'm going to pack that shadow on my lids. I'm taking a fluffy brush and blending my crease shadow with this black shadow that, so there is no harsh lines. Then I apply more of the saddle shadow that I used earlier because after all the blending I felt like I almost lost my transition shade. And I also packed some more of that black shadow as well since intensity got lost after all that blending. And yes, it does look a little crazy, a little messy at that point. I actually do look like raccoon, but it will all come together in a minute. And I wipe all the mess under my eyes with the makeup remover wipe. Next, I'm applying a face primer. Today, I actually using two of them. First is Dr. Brand Pores No More for my T-zone to smooth out any large pores that I have. And the rest of my face, I cover with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Next is foundation. I'm using a mixture of my two favorite foundations from the drugstore. Uh, first one is Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade 05 Warm Beige, which is a little bit too dark for me at this moment. And Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation in the shade 122, which is too light for me. And both together, they make in a perfect match for my skin. Now we're moving on to the star of the show, which is Beautiful Shadow by Stila. And the shade that I'm using is Vintage Black Gold. And using my ring finger, I'm pressing this shadow on my lids. And then uh, using a tiny flat brush, I blend that golden shadow. Next, I picked up my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black and I created a line and a wing. I'm sorry my camera went out of focus on that part. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to concealer, today I'm using the Maybelline H3 Wine Dark Circle Eraser in the shade Neutralizer. And I'm going to conceal and highlight my under eyes one area at a time. And I also apply this product on the bridge of my nose, middle of my forehead, above my cupid's bow and my chin. And then I set uh, everything with my Cody Airspun Loose Translucent Powder. To finish up my eyes, I use shade Coco Bear and smoke it out on my lower lash line. Then I use Shadow Corrupt and with angled brush, I define my lower lash line and just lightly, I drag it down so it looks blended and not that harsh. Next, I tight line my top and bottom waterline with the black eyeliner. And then I use a tiny brush to make my bottom lash line even smokier. Smokier? Is that a word? <laughs> anyway, then I curl up my lashes and I apply a couple coats of Maybelline Falsies Push-Up Angle Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And I also apply some false lashes off camera. Next, I'm going to bronze up my skin with the Butter Bronzer by Physician Formula. And then I'm going to further contour my cheeks with Kat Von D light, I'm sorry, shade and light palette. And I'm going to use this middle bottom shade. And then I'm using the same product um, and I lightly contour in my nose. And by lightly, I mean I went a little ham with it, but please just ignore my nose contour for today. Mama went a bit crazy. For blush, I'm using this pretty peach color from e.l.f. blush palette and I'm just lightly dusting it on the apples of my cheeks. Next, I spray my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and when it's almost dried down but still a bit wet, I apply my highlighter. That way it's really popping. And by the way, for today, I'm using a Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlighter. And I'm finishing up this look with Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Stark Naked. And on top, I apply a little bit of Buxom Gloss in the shade Serena. And this complete this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye!